um, I even don't know, tell the word, you want lighter, more white, but really pretty sunny sky, like a summer scene, uh, to show that the very pretty sky. I, I try to paint with this color, I should add more, more white, it's so intense color, uh, the pigment is so intense that you need it just a tiny bit, little tiny bit of that blue uh, to show. Uh, also, when you paint flowers, some flowers it's hard to copy its true color. Uh, some um, like a wi wild flower, the very nice blue color. That's what that's color primary cayenne. You need to mix the 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 petals of the of those flowers. See, you need more white because it's so intense color. Oh, we, here we go. That's what I would use to use a pretty blue sky. You see, that's your pretty blue sky, a little bit darker. In here, the more you go down, the more white you use. Paint thinner. That will be your pretty sky, especially when you uh, do uh, Monet painting, that's a figure, I'm pretty sure he used it similar color, I don't know, he might use it ultramarine or French ultramarine, but I liked it, I liked it a lot to use this color, I used it uh, in impasto style mixing with my uh, first titanium white, and then, and then, you do your trees, whatever you plan it to paint. Yeah. Um, these clouds, really, really pretty for painting sky. That's what I wanted to show you. My favorite, the most favorite. Um, blue. I quite don't like my my cloud, but anyway, you understand me what I mean to say uh, primary cayenne. But you decide which one will be your favorite color, and um, I showed that you my palette what I uh, use sometimes, uh, except probably this one, except um, cerulean blue. I have a whole tube of it. I don't use it. The rest, that's my palette using blue sky and I wish you the best luck, the best artistic week. Good luck.